an inverse function is a function where the x values and the y values switch around. So it's a reflection in the line x equals y. This is the notation we use for it. So it's f little minus 1 of x, f minus 1x. So that means the inverse, the inverse of the function. So if we imagine this is written y equals 2x plus 3, an inverse function is just where the x's and the y's are switched. The x's become the y's, the y's become the x's. So if I just switch them here, I'll have x equals 2y plus 3. So that is the inverse function, but we don't want it in that form. It needs to be y equals. So we need to make y the subject of the formula. So to do that, I'm going to take 3 from both sides. So I have x minus 3 equals 2y. And I'll divide both sides by 2. So x minus 3 over 2. So f minus 1x, now we can switch it back in for y. So f minus 1x is x minus 3 over 2. That is the inverse function. So we just switch the x's and y's around and then make y the subject of the formula. OK, here's another example. So we're going to we'll write it as y equals x squared minus 5 first. And then we're going to switch them. So switch x and y. So it becomes x is y squared minus 5. Then we need to make y the subject again. So I'm going to plus 5 to both sides. And then square root both sides. To get rid of the square, you square root. It's the opposite, the inverse function. Equals y. So my inverse function this time is the square root of x plus 5. Okay, this is a harder one I've put in here. So the principle is the same. So we'll write y equals first. This is harder because the changing the subject of the formula is harder. Then I'm going to switch the x's and y's around. But you'll see this time I've got two of them. So it's harder to make y the subject of the formula. So we're going to times by y. So xy is 2y plus 1. We're going to get the y's on the same side. So I'm going to take 2y. And I need to factorise out the y. So y at x minus 2 equals 1. Divide by x minus 2. So y equals 1 over x minus 2. So the inverse function, f minus 1 of x, is 1 over x minus 2. Okay, here's two for you to try. So see if you can find the inverse functions of both of these. Okay, so we're going to write it y equals first. So y equals 2x minus 7. Then the inverse function is where you switch x and y around. So let's just switch them x equals 2y minus 7. Then I need to make y the subject of the formula again, so plus 7. x plus 7 equals 2y. And then divide both sides by 2. So x plus 7 all over 2. So the inverse function is x plus 7 all over 2. OK, up here we're going to make it y equals first. And then switch the x and y. Then we need to make y the subject again. So take 2 from both sides first. And square root. Square root both sides. And then we can write it back. f minus 1x is the square root of x minus 2. 